Hi everyone, welcome back. For those that、uh, join us new, welcome to the show. This is about coaching coins, really focused on career and finance. Today, I have a co-host, Tommy. Hello, everyone. Tommy's a P4 student、uh, in Houston, Texas, and he's with me on rotation. And he has quite a bit of financial sense, so I thought it'd be great for us to share some financial thoughts. And for today's topic, we're going to talk about、um, our goal for financial freedom slash final financial independence, and just how we got to that goal, as well as some tips that we have for you. As when you're starting out, so first thing,、um, Tommy, how did you learn about you know wanting to be financially independent and trying to reach a financial freedom? Like, what's your why? Yeah, so a part of it was、uh, after high school, I turned 18. I was starting college, and my my parents actually retired、uh, maybe like eight years back. So my parents didn't have much money. And you know, a lot of people expect that their parents are gonna pay for college, and you know, they're gonna just live off their parents. But my mom taught me that、uh, you know, you have to learn to be like to learn to support yourself. And so my mom didn't have the funds to help me pay for college. So ever since I turned 18 and went to college, I've been financially independent. And so a part of me to you know get through that, I had to get a job. And so I got a job as a pharmacy technician. I have kept the same job since, and the money I earned from that job has really helped me、uh, get to where I am now.、Okay. Yeah. And、um, what are some things that you learned through that seems like you were very resilient to build or starting having that mindset? What are some things that you do to kind of help you, in addition to the job, to help you maintaining that financial independent path? Yeah. So a part of how I can still stay independent is, you know, you got to think about ways you can save money or cut costs. And、uh, one of the things I do is I try to not、uh, buy lunch so much. You know, trying to make lunch at home,、uh, bring lunch. You don't realize that saves a lot of money, and it's yeah, it really, it really does add up. Uh, you know, easy thing. You'll see a lot of people eat is just like chicken breasts, broccoli. You know, it's it sound it's it's healthy for you, and、uh, it, it's healthy for your wallet too. I guess you could say. Because、mm -hmm. if you think about it, each lunch, depending on where you go, could be five to ten dollars. So each week it could be twenty-five to fifty dollars. You know, a week. So that means almost two hundred dollars a month. So that that. You know, adds up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, it really does add up. And then,、uh, you know, if you just buy your own chicken breast and broccoli, you know, you save a lot of money, and for your health too, it's a lot healthier.、Um, even、uh, going out to eat too for fun on the weekdays or weekends, you know, I try to, I try to limit myself. I'm kind of guilty of not limiting myself, but that's something you should consider: is you know how much you go out to eat.、Uh, if you're someone, you know, if you can't cook every meal. You know, if you have to go out one meal a day, that's fine. You know, it's better than going out two meals a day because it adds up. You know, every meal that you can save, you know, the money adds up.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, another thing is, if you can live at home, I would definitely live at home.、Uh, a lot of people like to, you know, live on campus or get their own apartment. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that it does cost a lot of money. You know, you have to pay rent every month. You pay your water bill. You pay your electricity bill. Pay your internet bill, and you know it, it quickly adds up. And keep in mind, you already have all these loans from going to school, and now you're just slapping on even more loans. So in a sense, you're paying like two loans. You know, if you just live at home, sure you can help your parents with paying some of the bills, but. You know, the, think think about the cost. You know, paying you know just the internet bill at home. That's that's way better than paying rent, water, and electricity. Yeah, and it really depends on your situation.、Yeah. If you are、uh, going to another city, like myself, for college, I do have to stay. I mean, two or three hour commute each day is not a possibility,、yeah. right? One way. So I went to Austin, and Houston is about three hours out. So I have to stay on campus. But finding way cheap way to live, where I live in a co-op housing, or I would have a roommate to share a room with,、um, just so I cut down the cost for you.、Uh, so those are some strategies to help you.、Um, and similar to Tommy, my parents、uh, also retire when I start college. So 
you know, at the very first thing they told me is that you have to be able to support yourself. I mean, if you're not able to support yourself through college, you have to go through、um, other means to get your degree. And I was determined to do that. So when they they would start telling me this already in my sophomore year in high school, so I would、um, actually start having a job in my sophomore year and start saving up money, but also trying to apply for scholarships. And at first, I was really mad at my parents, <laughs>、um, just because like, why are you not you know helping to support? But it was very trendy, and、um, and you know I now looking back appreciate for what they're doing and also what they have been going through. And they actually this one of the most important skills that they taught me is learning to be independent and independent that early on and start thinking about. Money doesn't grow in tree, and you have to work hard for it. And、uh, growing up, you know, they have my dad's a used to be a mechanic, so he doesn't earn that much money to start with. And he has six kids, so we all have to、um, live on a very、uh, frugal means to get through. So、um, understanding that, appreciating that,、uh, growing up, I think it helps me to where I am now. Like even now, I still bring lunch to work because I don't want to. Spend money on lunch. Yeah,、uh, I agree with what Ann said. I just want to say, don't be mad at your parents if they can't support you through college. You know, they they supported you until you got through high school, and it, trust me, it costed them a lot of money to get you here.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, you know, you money really does not grow on trees.、Uh, you'll see that they they work very hard to get you to where you're at now. So you know, once you you know they're. It, it, this is probably the best lesson they can give you is that you need to become financially independent, and so you should be actually glad that they're trying to put you loose,、uh, so that you can learn about this. Right, and、yeah. being like,、um, I would say I'm a first generation immigrant, so with my parents, they actually also English is not their first language, so they really don't know about the school, the education program. They don't know much about loans, scholarship, all that. So I had to learn very early on in high school on how to start applying for those. So again, because my goal was I'm gonna go through college and whatever means I'm gonna do. So being able to have that mindset of being resilient and having this, not necessarily like have financial independent right then and there, but I know that's one of my goal. So I start to talk to people, learn from them, read books, and this is where I'm at. Yeah. Uh, another tip I want to bring up is, you know, as you start becoming financially independent, something you should think about is building yourself a little safety net too.、Uh, you know, a lot of people don't think about having a safety net, and whenever、uh, an unexpected event happens to you, you're you're not prepared.、Uh, you know, maybe your car broke down or you need some auto repairs.、Uh, something in in your house got damaged. You need to get it fixed. You know, you need all that costs money. And so, definitely, as you become financially independent, start saving some of that money so you can build a safety net. And you also just have a peace of mind too. One thing I'll throw in there too is think about life insurance. Especially, I know when you're young, you're like, "Why do I need life insurance?" But that would also be provide that safety net if something does truly happen to you. I mean, we don't know, right? Life is unpredictable. If something truly happens to you and you're、um, you have someone else to take care of, or if you have others that depend on you financially, having life insurance is really important. And term life insurance is fairly affordable. I would say、um, you can find you know twenty, thirty dollars, depend on your health condition, of course. So there are a lot of different life insurance options out there.、Um, so it'll be important for you to understand what that would be like. So you can start、um, thinking about life insurance and helping with、um, kind of create a potential safety net for someone that you take care of.、Um, so, for example, I take care of my parents, and now I'm also married, so that puts additional responsibility. So that's something that I consider as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Any last tip before we go into our fun fill in the blank? Ah. <laughs>、uh... Not so much tips. Just remember, you know, this is the best lesson that your parents can give you. You know, they raised you all the way through high school, and now, you know, now they're trying to let you loose, and you might be upset, but this is probably the best thing that you can get out of it. Right, and、um, money doesn't grow in tree, but no, money is not everything. But you do need it to have a sound, stable life. So being able to plan for that early on. 
and not be in bearing debts or bearing loans um, is important and basically have a mindset that if something does happen to you in your job you're still able to maintain that lifestyle slash supporting people that you need to support is really important that that's the that's what actually got me start thinking about being financial or have financial freedom and be financial independent because i want to not constantly worry like if i lose my job i don't have other ways to support my parents or support my family um, if something happens to me and that's why i start really getting to uh, learning more about finance and share that with you guys because I think most of the time school don't teach you things like this at yeah. all and it's something that I, I feel very passionate about and I want to share with you. Um, with that, we're just going to end on some fun uh, fill in the blank <laughs> just uh, for, for you guys. So I'm going to have Tommy goes first. So if you win a lottery, I, so I'm going to quote it. If I win a lottery, I would do blank. I would do, uh, <laughs> so yeah, recently the lottery has been pretty big. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure everyone's been playing and if I win the lottery, I think uh, I would probably retire and just travel the world and eat good food everywhere and get to try food in all different countries. <laughs> yeah, as for those that don't know Tommy, he's a Yelpie or elite Yelpie. So he's one of those that you would see a lot of reviews on and check out a lot of different restaurants yeah. and places. <laughs> Um, if I win a lottery, I would take my parents on vacation and pay off their house and then build a nonprofit organization dedicating to educating young professionals on career and finance, which is what I'm doing right now, unofficially. <laughs> um, things you wish you had, one thing you wish you had known growing up about money. Um, so we actually kind of mentioned it earlier uh, that money doesn't grow on trees. And I know as a kid, you probably wanted all these gifts. And sometimes you got it from your parents. Sometimes you did it and you were upset. And uh, I don't think you kind of, you don't really realize that how hard it is to earn money until you start working. So I wish I kind of knew the difficulty of earning money. And I probably, you know, I would have understood more why I didn't get those gifts or, you know, appreciate some of the gifts you got when you were younger more. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I wish I've known about money growing up yeah i would echo on that is um, how hard it is for to make money and i can actually kind of see that from my dad where he works you know almost two jobs day in day out get four hours of sleep so um one thing i wish i've known is how to start earning money faster invest earlier save more um so it will also help with my parents and my family early on and know about the saving in terms of like the stock market, the um, ETF, those type of market, not just save, put my, my hundred dollar under my mattress. <laughs> <laughs> and last question, fill in the blank. One thing you spend that you reward yourself? Uh, when I reward myself, it's pretty easy. I'm probably sure y'all could guess what I'm gonna say. Uh, I like to just go out to eat. Uh, you know, I keep up with all the new restaurants, trying to hit up everything that's opening you know fancy not fancy uh it doesn't matter where it is i try to go i don't mind driving out an hour or so to go somewhere so it's definitely how i reward myself that's dedication right there i'm a foodie <laughs> myself but i think tommy's definitely more foodie than i am uh one thing i spend that i reward myself i would say vacation i love to hike and travel uh one of my travel goal is to visit 50 national parks and 50 international cities and 50% of the US. So I'll definitely reward myself by at least one a, a year go to a national park or a new place. So with that, we're gonna come to close. I hope you guys are inspired and motivated by us to start your journey on being financial independent and attain financial freedom. I hope this was helpful. If there's other things that were missed out, please feel free to post in the comment. If you need a question, again, post in a comment and I look forward to your comments as well as future videos that you'll be seeing. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys. Bye. Take care.